Our top story, French President Emmanuel Macron is urging China's Xi Jinping to reason with Russia to help bring an end to the war in Ukraine. The leaders are meeting in Beijing with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, expected to join them shortly. The talks are expected to set the tone for the EU's future relationship with its largest trading partner. Arise Chief Correspondent John Cookson has the story. A fanfare for the French President Emmanuel Macron as he's greeted by China's leader Xi Jinping. Ahead of today's summit, French sources were saying Macron wanted to dissuade Xi from supporting Russia over the invasion of Ukraine, but no one, including Macron himself, expects a major change in China's position. Merci beaucoup. That didn't stop him pressing home the point in the first face-to-face -face meeting with Xi. Macron said he could count on China to reason with Russia and bring everyone back to the negotiating table. Russian aggression, he said, had dealt a blow to international stability. Xi's response was general and non-committal, the Chinese leader having recently told Putin that China and Russia had a friendship with no limits. He told Macron only that both China and France had the ability and responsibility to maintain world peace and stability. This visit by Macron is also about boosting trade between China and France and mending ties between the EU and Beijing. Macron arranged for EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen to accompany him on the three-day trip. Relations between Brussels and Beijing are at a low ebb not only over China's support for Russia, but also over its poor human rights record. So there was some serious fence mending to do when she met with China's Premier Li Qiang. <laughs> At the signing of an accord, Macron once again pressed home the impact the war in Ukraine was having, saying the security of Europe was not guaranteed as long as Ukraine is occupied. John Cookson, Arise News. Right, now John Cookson joins us for more from London. Good day to you, John. A very warm welcome to Newsday. Now getting straight into it, how successful do you think Macron will be in dissuading Xi from supporting Putin? Well, hi, and uh, good to be on Newsday. I mean, he's going to try, but look, uh, Xi's not going to change his mind. Only last month he was in, in Moscow uh, with, a, with a very warm sight with uh, Putin, and afterwards they declared uh, that there was a friendship without limits, that uh, China was supporting Russia and uh, really creating a new world order uh, with uh, China and Russia uh, in, in the lead, as it were, in terms of military might and economic power. So Macron is doing his best. Uh, he's very personable. And I'm sure he, he's put, putting the arguments across that Xi should try to persuade Russia to, to end the conflict, but with fighting going on as intensity as it is at the moment, with both sides, Ukraine and Russia, planning uh, new offensives, uh, to be talking about coming to the negotiating table is it, 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 just not being realistic. Uh, first, you have to have a, a, a ceasefire, and, and we're nowhere near that. Uh, and the peace plan that uh, Xi has up his sleeve and has made public, the 12-point peace plan, uh, is very general in its terms and, and, and in effect uh, says that the Russian forces can stay in, 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 the, in the land that they've already grabbed in Ukraine and, and there's no way that Ukraine uh, and the West in general will, will accept that. So there is nothing really to talk about in terms of peace at the moment because uh, of the situation in, in Ukraine and what we imagine will be new offensives coming uh, very soon. Uh, so, uh, frankly, it's it's all talk at the moment, uh, and Macron can, you know, say these things, but Xi is, is going to be backing uh, uh, Moscow all the way for the foreseeable future. Well, thank you so much, John. Now, what else is on the agenda for talks between President Presidents Macron and Xi? Well, trade, of course, uh, is massively uh, high on the agenda for both of them. The talks are, uh, are going to last six hours in total. Uh, but other issues uh, like North Korea, 
uh, are of great concern and uh, uh, Macron will be raising uh, Kim Jong-un's recent activities in, in producing uh, what, what appears to be a, a new form of tactical nuclear weapons which he put on display last week. Uh, he hasn't tested them yet, but uh, it caused a, a ripple of concern uh, throughout the West that uh, uh, Kim Jong-un has developed these new weapons and also some kind of underwater weapon that can cause a huge uh, tsunami. Uh, I mean, all of these things are very worrying. China, of course, has huge influence uh, on Kim Jong-un. But again, Kim Jong-un is an ally of, of uh, Beijing, and although Xi will, might, might scold him from time to time, uh, he's going to let him pursue uh, his nuclear development, so uh, I, I can't see any change there. Right, now to relations with the rest of Europe. Do you think the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen will be able to diffuse tensions between Brussels and Beijing? Well, you know, she's a very personal lady, as, as is Macron. You know, whenever I've, I've come into contact with them as a, as a journalist, they both have a certain amount of charisma and, and charm, and whatever charm she has, she will surely use on the Chinese. But the big problem is that uh, the EU is very concerned, as indeed other nations are throughout the world, about China's uh, dealings with uh, minorities, the, the, the Muslims uh, in the country, uh, and, and the, the jailing, the torture, and frankly, uh, things bordering on genocide of these people. So the, there will always be this uh, background to, to the talks, but then again, uh, China and, and, and e, the EU are huge trading blocks, so it doesn't suit either side to fall out too much. And again, Ursula van der Leyen will be trying to uh, secure uh, further trade deals for EU countries with, with Beijing during this three-day trip. Well, thank you, John. Now, how will the U.S. view Macron's visit? Uh, not too happy, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, of course, we know relations between Washington and Beijing are probably at an all-time low at the present time. Uh, it started uh, during the Trump era with the uh, uh, with with sanctions that uh, uh, the, the new administration from Biden didn't didn't lift, uh, we have uh, China's support, apparent support for Russia in in, in, in the Ukraine uh, conflict. So uh, there will be people in Wash in the corridors of Washington hoping that this trip doesn't go too well uh, for Macron, and also in Europe itself uh, uh, there are. Uh, countries and politicians who believe that a dependency on China, in, in other words, getting a lot of trade between China and France, is not a, a good idea, as we've seen recently with uh, Europe's dependency on, on Russia. So it, 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 it's a mixed picture. Right. Rice Chief Correspondent John Cookson, we always value the time that we get with you. Thank you so much for your insights. Good